and uh, kidnapped. And uh, obviously you've got strong suspicions now that they had been kidnapped by one of these cults. And so here we are. Uh, you've got one of the cultists now pinned down inside the kitchen. There's nobody else around, at least for the moment. And you've got a chance to interact with him. So what do you, what do you want to do next? Hmm. Is anybody good at interrogation or intimidation? I'm good at persuasion, normally. Except last week. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have to talk about that. We don't have to. We don't have to talk about. That. Okay. I, uh, okay. Remind me who is the who is it that we're actually looking for? Because last, let's we don't have to talk about what happened before. What's the name <laughs> of the guy we're actually looking for? So it's there were actually several people that were in this delegation. I'm not sure that you even know the names of of these people. But you know that there were at least a couple of dwarves who were kind of scholarly types. And you know that there was a noble. And you know that at one point uh, they were uh, at least trying to transport the body of a knight who had fallen in battle uh, against some orcs some time back. Uh, but you, you, and, and it seems like there were probably a couple of others and some guards. It was a fairly large party of about 20 people. Uh, but in terms okay. of names, I'm not sure you actually know the names of any of the members of the delegation at this point. We only know the name of the dwarven god. That they, whose altar was desecrated. Yep. Whose, whose altar they desecrated and for whom they have no respect. Right. Um, perfect. Uh, so I'm going to get kind of in this, uh, this cultist's face and uh and and ask him no i'm gonna tell him to tell us everything he knows about his leader okay let's go ahead and uh then let's do a um let's do an intimidation check intimidation slash charisma i assume we're threatening him by uh, since he's pinned down and you almost killed him sure. just now. yeah at the very least implicitly <laughs> That went, that went decently okay. Yeah, he says, okay, all right, I'll talk to you. Um, just uh, just leave me alone and let me go. Or just let me go when we're done here. Uh, how about talk first, and then we'll talk about the letting go. If you give us good enough information. He says, okay, we'll that sounds way. good. What do you want to know? Who, who are you? What are you doing here? what I want to know. Well, isn't it obvious? I am a, uh, a member of a cult that honors <laughs> the earth itself. Yeah, I don't think that's really what we wanted to know. Um, honors the earth itself. Do cult members typically say I am a member of a cult? Yeah. I am a member of a cult. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. I'm a cult member. What? Anyway. Okay. I want to know why he's washing dishes. All of us have to take our turn washing dishes here at the Cult of the Black Earth. Cult of the Black Earth. Probably, Probably. Probably wouldn't be washing dishes if you were following the Dwarven God, Dor Dormammu. Dor <laughs> on that one. We have come to bog so, Please do not speak that, that name. It is heresy. Why... Why is it bad? Is there like opposing earth religions? It, it is bad uh, because uh, this religion does not honor uh, the stone and the earth from which we all come and to which we all return. Hmm. Maybe we should ask about the awful bug thing that was locked underground. Yeah. How many Anything? are there? Perhaps. <laughs> Where are they? Yeah, what, what, let, I want to ask, what, what is, what was that bug creature at the trapdoor, and are there more of those? Oh, he says, you speak of the Umber Hulk. Uh, yes, there, there is only one of those down in uh, the Abbess's uh, mines. Thank God. <laughs> what, what else, what else is down there? 
in the, particularly in the doors that we didn't explore. Only um, if you go down there, you're going to find the slaveholders and the slaves who work the mines for the Why? abbess and we should for Marlos Ulenrail. Bless his holy name. Not for who? Let's free the slaves. All right. out for you. About to be an underground railroad right here. Marlos Ulenrail. Oh my goodness. Marlos Orn. Okay. I'm curious well, as to why you own slaves. Yeah. How else can we mine uh, precious minerals from the earth below us? I don't know. Wait, so you, you do the dishes? But why wouldn't you just make slaves do the dishes? <laughs> That's a great question. Answer us, please. <laughs> Believe me, this is not hard work compared to what they're made to do. <laughs> Why All right, not? Got okay. Should, should we ask if he knows anything about the the party that went missing? Yes, the tour uh, party, right? The uh, party says, in general. Um, I only know this: that that uh, some days ago, uh, there were several prisoners that were brought in. Most of them were taken below. I cannot tell you any of the details about it, though. Any more What's questions? What, what's your what's your name, cult guy? Fred. No. Mm. no what's way. your what's your real name, Fred? That is my real name. What is that not a common name to you? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, yeah, Fred Flintstone. We get it. Stone cold. Uh, okay, so where's Marlos? Where's your boss? Yeah. He, Who's your leader, um, Fred? He um, he resides in the Temple of the Black Earth, far below the Sacred Stone. Like honestly. how far? Like hundred feet? Hundreds and hundreds of okay. feet below the Sacred Stone Monastery. Well, you know, sometimes you just gotta let sleeping dogs lie, right? I mean, I say we get the slaves and get out. Uh, that is wise. I caution you not to confront him. For he wields Iron Fang, the holy implement of earth power. The implement? Sounds like something we want to steal. Yeah, I was going to say, that's the kind of sounds like the kind of thing I want. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know uh, none of you are worthy of such a thing. It is a great evil and... and, and uh, corrupting influence on the weak-minded. Fred, tell me something, tell me something. Do you think you're worthy of a, such a thing? No. No, I am not. Why, why you gotta be down on yourself and down I on us? I am here only you know? to serve. <laughs> look, look, Fred, you've been moderately helpful, but not helpful enough so far that I'm, that I, that I can trust my compatriots to not kill you when I'm not looking. So, what other information can you give us that would persuade us to not just kill you? Hey, yes, we the pot. Please, Sweet. I know I know little else. Uh, I mean, his name is uh, Fred. He probably doesn't Daddy know. Seven. Yeah, right. <laughs> Look, he told us all he knows. I say we just tie him up and be done with it. All right, I'm behind his back, like miming, stabbing motion. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't kill him. We should just tie him up. He tried his best to give us information. Yeah, we we can't go back on a promise. What kind right. of yeah? That would be D &D. great. That yeah, what kind of D and D bad. players would we be? <laughs> Well, we, uh, we can let. It would be chaotic evil work. D and D players, is what the That's, kind of D and D players you would. I know. Technically, guess. I'm not allowed to do that, so uh, so I can't. But yeah, but we could we could walk out and let. It. It just we could let. You're a white. That's true. We could let Sayuri, you know, tie him up like saw style. You know I what I mean? Know. But I forget. How would you I don't tie even know. Up with a saw. Shouldn't we use rope? No, like saw movie. 
You know what I'm saying? Like booby trap. Yeah, he knows. Oh, I, I see what you did there. <laughs> All right, I say, I say we tie him up and we skadoodle. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> let's go find those slaves. Anybody have rope? Do we? Yes. Mm, I'm pretty sure I do. Is there anything useful around here just from us? From looking, can we? Are these just dishes, or is there other things in these piles? Oh, the leftover soup du jour, mm. broccoli cheddar, my favorite. Oh heck! Okay. Oh, I don't have any rope. I don't have any rope. I yeah, have uh, not really. You don't really see anything else in here that seems that useful. I, I mean, the knives are not nearly as uh, effective. Going to be nearly as effective as weapons than what you already have. Is there maybe like some? piles of like silverware or something yeah but it doesn't, was it doesn't, holding a horse. It doesn't look terribly val valuable to you or dangerous it's all okay. earthenware cheap knockoffs made out of clay painted to look like silver uh. <laughs> it's, it's those little spray painted silver spoons you get at weddings <laughs> perfect should we go to that all right door? Where where are we gonna put this guy when we tie him up? Like over here in the corner? Well, is one of these a pantry? Can we attach him to something? Is there like a, yeah, a let's leg? Just, like tie him to the sink. Yeah, let's tie him to the sure. sink. Yeah. So this sink. here is a window. Uh, you were asking. This is a door. Based on the way the windows, uh, where the windows are located, you're guessing this door leads outside. Uh, as you are, this door as well. Logic. Okay. Yeah, I think there's maybe an unexplored room here to the south, and then another one to the southeast. Yeah. But we could skip those and try to go straight for the prisoners. No, let's let's be thorough. Let's go to those other doors and see. Yeah. Don't want to get ambushed. We still All don't right. totally know what's around here, so. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's tiptoe our way to this southern door. Okay. So, okay. So, um, yeah, you uh, go ahead and make a perception check, uh, unless you just want to walk in. Oh, I mean, I'll, I'll listen to the door. I mean, I, I can spare a second. Yeah, you, uh, you, uh, you're, it seems silent. In, through on the other side of this particular door, there, there's there's no indication of anything. All right, I open it. Let's go. Let's do hey, it. What's that thing? Sugar Cane's icon. What? All right. So I think she's like in another room. Yeah, well, I think her, her saber tooth is over here, but I don't know where her norm is. Uh, she is. She's in her saber tooth form right now. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. well, there's your saber tooth. <laughs> I guess I guess I could get out of it. I... Yeah, you you won't be able to transform again until you've taken a short rest. I think that's oh, why yeah. you stayed I'll just... in it. But I'll stay here then. I'll Hi. set up this. Can she talk while she's in her saber tooth form? I don't think so. Not really. No. <laughs> Only to people who can speak to with animals, which is her in our party. Yeah. <laughs> so not very helpful. And not we, me. I mean, we, and that's we kind of guess at like broad gestures. What the? Yeah, we know her well. uh, she's, I mean, she still has all of the intellect that she had before, so she can hear what you're saying and follow along and do things. Yeah, she wants a treat. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's Disney animated, so she's she can still interact with them. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. So I'm I'm good to peek around this corner just to see yeah. what else is. Sure. Beyond, in the darkness. Okay. All right. So uh, what you see is yet another hallway that turns and uh, kind of bends to the east. These are these are doors. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you've got uh, easily one, two, three, four, five doors that are visible here. Does anybody want to give a listen at one of these doors? Because my perception is, is, it's not good. Can I make a suggestion real quick? Yes, please. Let's go back to the kitchen 
and steal all the dead guy's clothing. And, like, masks and stuff. So we can look like cult members. Yeah. Mm. That's pretty smart. I like it. I like it. Go okay. right ahead. How are you going to hide me? Well, you can just stay, like, a safe distance behind. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And- uh, I'll... I'll do my best. Last time we tried to disguise Ekron, it was, it was, it didn't go fantastically. Now, but, let me ask a question. Are yeah, all these cult members, like, people. do they They're all cult. seem to be human behind yeah. their masks? Yes. Well, yes. Okay. I'm, well, yeah, I'm a halfling, but we can try. It's like when Frodo and Sam dressed up as orcs. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Or like when yeah, Luke Skywalker dressed up like a stormtrooper. And he was a little short for a stormtrooper. I think Ekron and I probably could not successfully pass. So we may need uh, to, should, should the should the disguises be useful, we may just need to do our best to be in the shadows. Okay. Well I'll take I'll take an outfit and a mask and put them on from okay. one of the dead guys. Okay. I guess I will too. Hey, worst case scenario, you guys could pretend like that we're your prisoners or something. That's true. I, I think that I think that probably for Sierra, it's going to be it's, the clothes are just going to be way too big and the mask as well. Okay. It's going to look really awkward, like a kid on on Halloween or something. <laughs> well, does the do the robes cover up my wings and does the mask cover up my face? Are they big enough? Uh, yeah, but like looking at you from behind, people are going to see that you're not a human uh, because the mask doesn't cover the entire head. Sure, sure. There are practical issues well, for everybody except for glory, really, is what it amounts to. I'll, I'll put one on and then I'll just kind of stay behind glory so they only see me from the front. Sounds good. All right. All right, I'll take it off. Okay, so which doors are we wanting to go to first? I don't. I, I think these ones we're literally standing next to you could be tempting. Okay. Hopefully yeah, they is- don't just take us here, but we'll see. Okay. My perception is fine. Well, I, but- I have really good perception. Okay, you go ahead. Which door? Uh, these right here. Okay. To, the, to the right. Or left. <laughs> the way we're headed. Oh, well, not so good. (laughs) You're not able to make a whole lot out about what's on the other side, unfortunately. I have have pretty good perception right now because I get plus four for being a saber tooth. Okay. Oh, I had clicked your sheet. No, I'm not logged in. I had just clicked. Hey, can I re-roll that? I clicked on Maxwell's sheet accidentally. I think she accidentally logged into my DVD. No, I didn't. I was trying to see what Dad had... um, was talking about. Oh, okay. With, uh, never, anyway. I was like, none of this. Yeah, see, she was looking at my sheet and she was rolling out of my sheet accidentally. Well, you also have really good. Eli. Yeah, you also have really good perception, but mine is technically better. Okay, there we go. Okay, oh. so, um, you, you, all you hear is silence. It sounds like there's a fairly large room actually on the other side. Sounds like another hallway. Is the is the door are, are the this door is it locked? No. By jig the handle not unlocked. Not locked. Oh, not locked. Okay. No, it is not locked. That's what I'm saying. Okay. I'm going to just open it. And so see what happens. You open it, and what you see yeah. is uh, this large uh, kind of vestibule. Looks very, very elegant, uh, like a part of the temple that it used to be, uh, perhaps. And you see these four stone columns. Uh, this is one of them right here. Uh, and then you see these double doors that are right here that appear to lead into this room that you've already been in, the one that has the 
uh, yeah. trap door stairs and so forth and the altar. Uh, there are stone gargoyles on either side of the doors, one on this pillar, one on this pillar right here. So, I know all about these gargoyles. Don't turn your back on them. <laughs> it's a great show, though. Do they say? Wait, was that just me and Maxwell and Becca when we fought the gargoyle? Gar yeah. gar it was, but yeah. I was watching. They okay. saw the aftermath. So they do they look, the do they look the same as the ones in the like top yard garden courtyard garden? Are you going in the room? <laughs> no. Oh. Uh, I'm not I sure. I, Is there any these things kind of remind me of like those pinball stars, and I'm I feel like we're gonna get we might get some bonus points if we touch them, but they might also eject us. I am I am very scared of my previous encounter getting ambushed by the gargoyles. I start to back away. Yeah, they could be they they could be alive in there. How about this door? Do we want to check this door? <laughs> <laughs> this yeah, one looks that's, nice. That's fine. So, Harry, will you go listen at this door? Yep. I sneak up here and I close this door. <laughs> just gonna, <laughs> just gonna <laughs> shut that. Nope. Don't mind that. Nice. I'm, I'm listening at the other door. This one. Okay. So, um, listening in. We're listening in right here, correct? Yes. I, 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 sure. So you can hear you can hear right some here. you can hear some heavy breathing through the door, like people that are sleeping, and uh, maybe a little bit of rustling too, like uh, some people moving around in the room. Hmm. They could be slaves, or they could true. be bad. They could be bad. I thought the slaves were in the mines, though. Are we anywhere near? I the think mines? the slaves are all underground. Yeah, yeah. they're. We know for certain that there are some underground for sure. So do we want to go in and fight these fools or do we want to... I feel like there's going to be peeps around here no matter what, probably. <laughs> Let's... Yeah, we'll so here's, my, here's my question is, do we have anything else we need to know? Like, is there a point in going and fighting? Just, just for the sake of potentially finding loot or other things that might help us. Sure. To me, it's so we don't get ambushed later, because they could cut off our only escape route. Yeah, they might, they might hear a, a ruckus. They could well, pull they the lever and turn it into a slide. Yeah, they could trap, they could trap down, down, down there. That's true. Yeah, pull the lever. Crunk. Pull the lever, crunk. <laughs> pull that lever. Um, oh, that guy pulled this lever. That's the one we're talking about. <laughs> I, I'm okay if if you guys feel comfortable going in there. I I still have some lay on hands points though, so I'm probably going to use some of that to because we need to. We probably should top off a little bit here. Okay. Yeah, I could. yeah I could go for a top off. I'm I'm only down one point, so I'm good. Yeah. No, you're fine. I think I'm, off. I'm just kind of squishy, as they say. Yeah. Well, there I is. can there it is. go in first and get an idea of how many people there are. All right. I'm gonna. Uh, I, I'm spending going behind her. I'm her accompaniment. Y'all get out of sight. We're the only ones with disguises. But I'm a tiger. Do I count? Yeah, you're like around the corner. They can't see you. No, don't get close. Oh. Is the door still closed? Yeah. The door's still closed. What's yeah. uh who, who else she needs could, some, she could hide Who else needs some heal action? I've still got I'm I'm good. I've still got like fifteen points of lay on hands. Yeah, we're good. Okay. We're we're pretty top off. Cool. Alright. I'm gonna move Sire. <laughs> open the door. Okay. Oh yeah, you're in costume. Casually and quietly. Oh, that's right. You are in disguise. All right. So, um, 
you open the door and uh, you look up and you see let's see here one two three four five six um, uh, people that are in the room some of them um, that yeah but they they don't look like the others did um, these are kind of grayish looking dwarves of some kind uh, that is that you might some of you might recognize them um, you can who, who can see in right now I guess only glory can yeah so so glory you can make a um, make an insight check All right, so you recognize these as uh, the, the, this, this kind of unique grayish looking dwarf as uh, dwarves that come from this place called the Underdark, which is this massive labyrinth of caves that runs all underneath uh, the Forgotten Realms. And uh, they do have a reputation as being slavers. Oh, yes. And uh, you're seeing in here... Right now, you're seeing about, let me count them up again. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. Yeah, six. That's what we can see, yeah. And um, they look up at you. They're going to, they're, they're, you still look like someone they would expect at the moment, but that illusion is not going to last for long. You can tell. <laughs> It's not going to be long before they'll figure out that you don't belong there. Okay. Um, Especially I'm, when they start looking out into the hall behind you. I'm just going to... Is it dark in there? Uh, no, there's light coming into the room. Uh, yeah. okay. I'm uh, going to yell, what do you all think you're doing sleeping? Aww. Panic. And yell. All right, go ahead and do an intimidation check. <laughs> Master Earnrail demands you get back to work at once. I try to help her. Yeah, okay, so she rolled a four. Um, no, as, and one of them looks up at you, kind of gray, white beard, kind of cranky sounding voice. What do you even be talking about as he kind of walks towards the door and suddenly he sees all of this assortment of people behind you? <laughs> and, it, and he just shouts danger danger and straight for go. danger okay. Wait, I thought these were like old dwarves are they oh. Oh, apparently they want to they want to oh they want to ramble all right all right so hey my new thing worked and so Kark uh, Kark you should be able to see you've got kind of a a, a uh, uh, circle around you there. That means that you're turning uh -huh. the initiative. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So you so, rolled for us, or yeah, I rolled. Yeah. I rolled for you. I've got a macro. Oh. It's working now. Cool. And so oh, yeah, it's very. It's it should work well in terms of keep being able to move things along. It's does group initiatives and all that kind of stuff. So it is Kark's turn. Okay, uh, I'm gonna cast spiritual weapon second level. Okay. Uh, and uh, I'm going to uh, try to get it to attack this dwarf guy. The the one that's right, like right in the doorway, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, okay so that's five damage. All right. All right, and then, so uh, slashes at him and hits. I'm going gonna to back up a little and then also cast... Uh, sacred flame on him. Okay, so the so spiritual the, weapon does not cost to activate. Well, it costs a bonus action, uh, and then my main action okay. is... Okay, uh, yeah. Okay, so that is a miss. Well, or, so wait, it's wait, a... Wait, wait, wait. He does a dexterity save, save this DC 15. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. Okay. No, you're good. So, here we go. He fails the dexterity save, so he does take nine more damage. All right. Then I peace out. 
Uh, Take that, you sleeping bastard! And then this flame hits him. He doesn't even know what's going on. And now we go to the next one, which is this one right here. Durker. And... (laughs) Durker. He he comes running down to... um, to the doorway there, and he has to stop because Glory has it blocked. <laughs> and then you suddenly see uh, he just suddenly from changes from the shape of a dwarf. He just suddenly increases in in all of his size. Oh boy! And, uh, <clears throat> he, he pulls this pick out off of his back and uh, swings it at okay. Glory. And I assume that's a hit. I can't see it. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're getting a whispered attack there. So it's a 22. Yeah. (laughs) So let me see if I can get it where his his attacks don't whisper anymore. That shouldn't take me long. Incidentally, um, here's what you're dealing with. His right. beard is perpetually swinging right. <laughs> it's windy down there. <laughs> yeah. Constant updraft. Oh, yeah, I've got him fixed. He, the next rolls from them you should be able to see. Okay. Um, all right, so then uh, yeah, the next one. How, how much see. damage was it? Uh, it was uh, 16 piercing damage. And we go to the next one, which is this one here. And he runs up and kind of lines up behind this other one, but he can't really get at glory because of everybody that's packed into the doorway right now. Okay. And then this brings us to Siri's turn. Okay. Do I have advantage? Um, n- not at the moment. I think you get like a free sneak attack. I don't remember for sure, but I think you could get some free sneak attack. Yeah, if you have advantage, you get the sneak attack rolls. Um, it, it's oh, going to be hard for you to get advantage, advantage because. Yeah. Oh wait, hang on, hang on. The yeah. opponents are all packed in there, so you gain advantage from it kind of being like a two on one, but it's kind of like a giant melee with everybody. So yeah, yeah. It says you don't need advantage on the attack roll if another enemy, if another enemy of the target is within five feet. Okay, so Lexi is within five feet. Okay, yeah. I mean Gloria is within five feet, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So then yeah. I will attack with my dagger, and so I will get the sneak attack on that. Yeah. So you will have to move into range. You're not in range oh, right, right now. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, how about? How about my shoulder? Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, so yeah, so uh, you you uh, ram the dagger up into his gut and back out, and he collapses dead. Oh, okay. So this space, this space right here, I'm just going to go ahead and move him out of it. But that space is now empty. Um, okay. I'm gonna. I guess I'm not engaged, so I can't really disengage. Um. um so I can. But you or am have, I? Engaged? You do have a lot of movement left. You've only used about five feet of movement so far. So I guess I'll just kind of dash away so I don't get hit. Okay. I'll just dash kind of back to where I was. It's just a quick little. Okay. All right, I'm done. All right. That gets us to Ekron's turn. Alrighty then. Um... Okay, I am going to cast... Wait a minute. Oh. Son of a dirty... Here it is. Uh, I'm going to cast Divine Favor. I don't know why it did that. It's... Does it not say the what it does? Uh, maybe I clicked it wrong. Sometimes you can click on it and then uh, display in VTT. 
um, instead of cast. Okay. Okay, there we go. Like that? Yeah. 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 Okay, okay. So I'm casting that okay. um, on my um, on myself. And I'm gonna so can I get can I get through to get here? Or is Oh yeah, yeah, you can you can always move freely through squares that your own people occupy. Okay. You can't move through squares that are occupied by enemy combatants. Um I can't tell if do any of these have damage on them? None no, of them have damage on them, okay. no. Okay. Yeah, you've piled all the damage onto that one poor guy so far. Okay, okay, I'm gonna <laughs> die to anyone. I, sh... I I can hit all three of these guys with my with a cone, right? Hmm. From where I'm standing, I, or do I need I, to be right where Glory is? Here, here's what I would say: is that you could hit the the one that's further back in the room. Well, you could hit the one in the back, very back of the room, right here, plus these two if you want to. Uh, by kind yeah, of going by kind of going straight up toward the back of the room with the flame. Now, yep. I don't know if you've got one right now. I don't know what happened if you have to have a I short got a look. rest. Yeah, I got to have look. a short rest before you can use it again. I'm not sure. Let me see. Breath attack. Yeah, I think I do. It's not checked, but I'm pretty sure I used it last yeah, time you, you used it uh yeah on, yeah so i guess it just didn't automatically check okay that's fine yeah uh well then i'm gonna i'm gonna aim at this guy right uh right here that one okay and i'm gonna give him good good old swang i don't know why this is different than how I did it before, but I guess this is okay. Hopefully that works. Did that work? That is a hit. It worked and it's a hit. Okay. For and then how do I, and then do I do a 1d4? Uh, yeah, just roll uh, 1d4. All right, so that's two more points of damage. And you okay. may have a multi-attack. Your character may have a multi-attack now. Most get it at... Yeah. Five I can take a second swing. You can take another swing if you want. Oh, yeah. Yeah, boy. Okay, there's another 10. Plus 3. Uh, plus 3, yeah. Oh, yeah, so this guy is, like, seriously... Uh, he's hurting now. And... Let's see if I can... I'm gonna save that. Um, okay, I will get my shield out, and I will end my turn. Okay. All right. Can I? Uh, can I pretty easily just hop on over here? Yeah. So just as a monk, right you've got enough agility that you can move up and around and uh, land on the other side if you want. Yes, just like that. All right, I am going to. That guy's alive right there. I'm gonna attack this this guy right here. We're okay. just gonna do martial arts. Okay. Um. So you do not have advantage, so that's a miss. Okay. Second attack. All right, that is a hit. No, it's okay. a, that's also a miss. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and bonus attack. That is a hit. Okay. Five One hit out of damage. it. Um, and then I'm not going to spend any key. I'm just going to pass turn. Okay. All right, so this uh, Durigar that's right beside Glory, he's going to, he does the same thing. He just suddenly he enlarges like uh, that one did before and then pulls this uh, at pick, huge pickaxe at and uh, comes down uh, at glory with uh, this war pig. Yeah, that's a hit. And he had advantage as well. 
Oof. And uh, so that's the end of his turn. And now we get to Sugarcane's turn. All right. Sugarcane, um, dot, dot, dot's turn. All right, so I'm going to kind of pounce over here. Okay. And then, I guess, run through here. Which one of these guys is engaged with uh, with Ekron right now? Because I want to um, help him take it. So all three of these that are surrounding Ekron are engaged with him right now. Okay, uh, I'll jump on this guy. Okay, so this you're not going to be able to move. You can't occupy the same square as Ekron, and you can't move through the other square. You do have a legal attack on this guy. On this one? Yes. That okay. that guy should be weak, though. He should be low anyways. Oh, okay. Sweet. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Yeah, I guess... Oh, man. Sabretooth doesn't have a multi-attack, so I'm going to claw at him. So, Which you've got two people angled in at him right there, so I will give you advantage on that with a hit. Nice. Nice. 11 and, slashing. Yeah, so... Yeah, so uh, you slash at him and knock him back across the room, and he falls. Awesome. Is he dead? He's he dead. dead. Cool. So yeah, I'm gonna. You've got some movement left if you want to use it. Yeah, I'm gonna jump over here and engage with this guy. Okay. All right. And that's anything else you want to do your turn? Uh, can I do two attacks? I for I always forget. Or is that just something that a, being a bear could do? I don't know if you can get multi-attacks in... I, I think you have to follow the rules of your... Of the of the beast. Of the beast that you yeah. have assumed. And in this case, looking at it... Yeah, I, I, it's, it's, the saber -tooth it's the saber tooth, right? Yeah, I, it, he doesn't have a multi-attack. So. And it doesn't indicate he has a multi-attack. So yeah, you just get the one attack. All right, that's I don't fine. Think you, get, you don't get the multi-attack bonus in that form. No problem. All right. Anything else for your turn? Uh, nope. That'll be that'll be all. All right. So we now go to this Duragar that's in the back of the room. He kind of leaps over, stands up, just kind of hulking over you now when he transforms in size. And uh, is going to attack uh, Sugarcane with his war pick. And what's the armor class for the the saber tooth? Ooh, good question. Armor class is going to be twelve. So that's twelve. So yeah, that hits for twelve points. Uh, where's my icon? There he is. Okay. Uh, and then we get to the next Turagar here. Who is, where is he? I think maybe he's one of them that's dead. Because oh. I don't see him anywhere on the board. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Oh, no, there he is. It's him right here. It's this guy right here. Um, so he is going to attack Ekron with advantage, also enlarging before attacking. And I don't know if you... Do you have a, a 16 or higher armor class, Ekron? Yeah, I'm at 18 with my shield. Okay. So then that's a miss. And that is the end of round one. We now go to round two... It's not advanced. There we go. Yeah. We now go to round two and Kark. All right. Y'all are surprisingly not soaking up as much damage as you were last time. So I think mm -hmm. I'm going to attack again. Um, I can uh, radiant uh, uh, sacred flame, rather, against those two guys because um, they're adjacent to each other. Okay. Oh. 
Ignore the second one. Misclick. Right. So uh, the first one is uh, six points, depending on whether they pass their deck save. And here's the yeah. deck save for the first one. Here's the deck save for the second one. So the first one passes and only takes three points of damage. And the second one takes the full six points. Explosion just in their faces. Just kind of soaring over Ekron's shoulder and into their faces. Yeah. And then I'm going to sick my spiritual weapon onto this bottom guy. Okay. Is there some kind of grunting soundtrack uh, playing? There's, there's a soundtrack playing softly behind you. <laughs> <laughs> I've been hearing you that. Actually, and you can actually uh, turn the volume up or down uh, on your music tab if you want to hear more of it or less of it, or turn it off. I, but oh, it's also I see playing on the stream a little bit, yeah. Hilarious. <laughs> grunting <Yeah>. music. <laughs> we do everything here. We do everything oh, yeah. here. Well, except hit Duragar with yeah. spiritual weapons. Uh, yeah, that's a miss. <laughs> All right, good luck, guys. <laughs> All right, so the 16 is this guy right here, and he is going to attack Ekron with his war pick. Not hitting, surprisingly, even with advantage. Yeah. And oh, wow. It's just to mm, it's me. Turn. Yep. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, since I've got my buddies right here, who's. So, all of these guys are still alive? Mm -hmm. all, all four, four of them. these in here? Yes, there's four left in there. Who, who has taken hits so far? Uh, the, I have. Yeah. You're talking about uh, amongst. Of the, the Durgers. This one. And this Durger, one. Durger. And this one. Okay. So I, I'm 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 just gonna try to let's see how how much movement do I have? I have twenty five movement. Can I get at anybody to attack or get within range? So your problem is there's no other entrance to this room, and um, you could move into this square right here. You could you could move you through could this square and into this square if you want to. And then you would be attacking some of them with advantage. Okay, could, uh, okay, I guess I'll do that. I guess I'll move right in here. Yeah. And, and I will take a punch at this one. Okay. No. With my d -d -d dagger, I might've hit it twice. Yeah, so you are you multi-attacking? Or just no, I just meant to points. hit it once, yeah. so we can just take the first one. Okay, so the first one is eight points with the sneak attack. Nope. And then um, I can use my um, bonus action to attack with my other my offhand dagger. Okay. Yeah, and you may um, have a multi attack. So you might actually get three attacks. I'm not sure if you have the multi-attack capability. She does no, not have a multi. But I just have a. I have two okay. hands. But you two get a bonus weapons, action. So okay, so go ahead. Weapons, so she can use a bonus action to attack with the yeah. second dagger. So go ahead and roll that. Yes. One oh, okay. another hit for another six. Jeez. Yeah, and that one's not. Yeah, sneak attack. Yeah, uh, sneak attack. It's, just it's this one, sure. right? Yes, the same guy. Yeah, so stab, stab, and uh, they both hit him. Yo, one, two, stab. Yeah, exactly. So anything else on your turn? No, that's all I can do. Okay. One, it two, is Ekron's turn. Stab. All right. Uh, I'm going to try to clear up some of the clutter here. Um, <laughs> I'm going to take a swing at this guy right here. Okay. Or maybe I'm, or maybe not. Maybe I'm, I'm going to do nothing. Maybe that could, that, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Oh, that's a hit for sure. Which one was it again? 
Uh, this guy in the middle of all the chaos. Okay. All right, so there's another... I, I assume you're multi-attacking there, or is that... Yes. That was a multi-attack. And then I need to... We're going to say it was a multi-attack anyway, and it kills him. I, w I was going to do it anyways, but... Yeah. Oh, he's dead? <laughs> okay, I don't need to roll. The, after the multi-attack, it kills him. You don't need the D4s. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, um, then I'm going to move in here, right here. Okay. And get take my, my shield back out and uh, end my turn. All right. Glory. All right. Let's do martial arts on the one to the north of me. Okay. So uh -huh. that's a miss. That's good. <laughs> Butterfingers. That's advantage and a hit. Oh, okay, okay. Advantage. Never mind. <laughs> For four damage. Oh, you, you tell you just almost took him out there, but he's he kind of shakes it off. I'm doing just so bad. Just to continue going for one. <laughs> gonna go for the great kick, karate oh, kick. Oh, there's another hit with advantage. Ooh. And that final round kick just knocks him across the room, and he's. Ooh. God, got so frustrated, started yelling. All right, <laughs> pass turn. You're like that's just real life, Lexi. <laughs> All right, sugar cane. All right. Um. I guess. Hmm. I'm gonna go for this guy, and I'm gonna switch things up a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bite him this time, which I'm now realizing, bite and claw have different stats. So this actually will be different sometimes. All right. So the bite uh, does have advantage, and it hits. Is it this guy here? Okay, go ahead and roll your damage. Maybe 12. 12 All points right. of damage. Nice. Got him I, guess, I guess that's it. I don't, I don't have anything else. And he's not dead? He is not dead. Oh. Okay. Last you... turn, I suppose. Yes. All right, so um, trying to get to yeah, this yeah. one. Uh, uh, so it's this guy. Uh. It's, uh, so it's this guy's turn now, and uh, he is going to attack Sugarcane with his war pick. He does have advantage on this, so it looks like that's going to hit for seven points against Sugarcane. Wait, does he have advantage? Yes, he does. I'm yeah, there's two guys. There's a guy on the opposite side of you, so you can't uh, really properly defend yourself against uh, his attack. Okay. Does it does it does it matter that I have protection on right now? So anyone within five feet of me, I already forgot what it does. <laughs> <I've> already, <laughs> I know it's a thing I have. Uh, hold on, I'll find it. There it is. I can. I think I can just display it. Hey, but, uh, yes. Mom, oh, so that that eliminates it and puts it, but creates a normal roll. And All right. With the normal Sweet. roll, it misses, so it does not do the damage thanks to the protection from Ekron. Yes. And I knew, was a, oh, I knew that was useful. Yeah, that was great. Uh oh, somebody's taken over for Lexi here. <laughs> what sorcery is this? <laughs> Shapeshifters everywhere. Mm -hmm. Are you shapeshifter? No, I'm not a shapeshifter. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so that gets us then to round number three. Birdman. And to Kark's turn. Okay, my spiritual well, weapon bad. goes to work on the uh, southern guy. Um, nice. All right, so uh, we've got um, a hit on him for 12 points. And then uh, we'll uh, see if we can toast him up a little. Yeah, toast him. 
He fails his save, so there's another 11 points. Yeah, so his beard's on fire. <laughs> He's kind of doing this, trying to put it out. Aww. He's going, ah! <laughs> so, he, so he drops his pickaxe. This is what you're no. He's doing it with one hand. <laughs> quick. It's quick with that hand. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's my turn. Okay. So now we've got um, uh, this guy just having barely not dropped his axe. He uh, looks up <laughs> and uh, swish, uh, swings his war pick again. Going to swing it at Sugarcane. Uh, again, I guess he does not have advantage for the same reason that the other one did not, but it's still a 20. So that's going to do six uh, piercing damage. And uh, did you get that, Sugarcane? No, sorry. I was a uh, mom. Cannon. It was six piercing. I'll go ahead and apply it. Oh, thank hey. you. He rolled, your character died. He did 6,000 damage. <laughs> and I failed all my death throws. <laughs> all right. Yeah, it was 6,000 damage. I think you automatically fail. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like a dragon stomping on you. That's like just to see God yours. opening a black hole on top of you. <laughs> is it my turn? It is your turn, yes. All right, let me just take a swing at this guy right here. All right. The old dagger. The one, two, point. And you've got an enemy, right? So you've got the eight, total of 18 points, and he goes down. <laughs> and then I will, can I use my offhand to punch this guy? You've got some movement, so I would assume so, yeah. So could I go like here? Yes. All right, and I'm gonna do an offhand attack, no sneak attack. Um, for so, five, I guess. So that is gonna. Or be it a may hit. not be enough. That is gonna be a hit for five, and that takes him down. Woo! And we are out of combat. Hooray! You are welcome, everybody. Nice. The hero of the day, your new best friend. <laughs> <laughs> I I run up to her and and I kind of like press my head up against her like, like a cat. Twilight style? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, like Jacob in Twilight. Hey, Jacob. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. The viewers will love these Twilight references, guys. Oh, Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get all the views. For sure. All right. We've had Anyone a couple read? drop in and out. It's not been a lot, but we've had a couple tonight. We get, we get a lot of oh. views on YouTube, but don't, don't, not yeah, maybe, live. maybe the live, yeah. 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 Well, Twitch is like, you know, having like what a thousand views for a video is like the equivalent of having like five million on YouTube or something like that. I don't know. You I mean just because it's a smaller audience? Going. Yeah, just like automatically because of the short time span, it is a very small audience. Okay. Well, uh, we probably should have left one of them alive. Dude. It's fine. Nah. Can we search their uh, evil. their Corpses. bodies? Yeah, search. Okay, uh, searching all of them, you uh, find uh, about uh, twenty gold amongst all of them. You can divide it up however you want to. You find exactly twenty gold amongst them. I don't need it. I don't. I don't mean to brag, but I am flushed with gold right now. So y'all take what you need. I'm not sure I have, oh, I have 10 gold, maybe? I don't long for material things, so I'm good. I make my way into the room, but by the time I get in there, they've already looted all the corpses. <laughs> yeah. Man, y'all are fast. Oh, yeah. We do not, we do not. Goodness. All right, I'll take all the gold. Take okay. it, take it. We don't need it. Hey, may I propose that we uh, take a bit of a rest here because all of my spell slots are basically empty. Yeah, can we, is there any way we can lock this door or just like stack these beds up to block it? Yes, you can do that if you want to. That'd be awesome. 
Are we sure we want to try to take a long rest? I don't know. I at least need a short rest because I yeah, short... am. I, yeah, we could do a short rest. I think. Right? I, think I think we'd get ambushed with a long rest. I think Ekron needs a short rest too. Seems pretty unsafe. Okay. Kind of killed a lot of people. Yeah. All right, so we're going to pile some beds up against the doorway, and then we're just going to try to sit there and rest and recover for 30 minutes. That's the plan? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I want to turn back into regular sugar cane. Right, let me make a, uh, okay, let me get regular sugar cane back out there then. Thank you. Gar, gar. Gar, gar. All right, gar. so let's do a quick uh, die roll here while you're resting. Oh, no. So about uh, 30 minutes later, nothing has happened. And uh, you're All ready right. to continue exploring. Great. Should, uh, I, I guess we can ask Brett when he gets back if he wants to stop soon. Yeah, it's, about, it's, it's close to that time. I uh, spent the 30 minutes praying, so now I'm ready to channel some more divinity after my short rest. Yay. <laughs> That's the one that. where I heal everybody for 30 HP. Divinity? That's my Sweat. favorite spot. Is <laughs> it is delicious. So it's just egg and sugar. It's so good. And, and air. And, Don't and forget. Yeah. She's an air goddess. Yes. Oh my gosh, you're totally right. It fits perfectly. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, Chan. One day. One day we'll be together. What are we doing? I'm not worthy. I'm just telling everybody about my, my waifu, Chan. She's an air goddess. Um, okay. I so wish y'all like. Are y'all gonna wait on on uh, on Brett to come back, or do you want to decide? Akron, wake up! He's very deep asleep. <laughs> yeah, he he don't he doesn't nap very very. <laughs> well, I definitely don't want to go into any new rooms without him. Yeah. I mean, do we really need him? Yeah. Yeah. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> ah, ah, here he is. Oh. Hooray. You're finally awake. All right, so it, the the party did successfully take a short break. It's a cat nap. Quick, 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 quick cat. Yeah. Quick dragon nap. And you're ready to continue. We thought you were hibernating now. again. So we've had a short rest. Is there a way to tell D and D Beyond that we've had a short rest? Or oh, There's there a, is, and then it resets everything for you. Yeah, D and D Beyond neat. is really nice. Take yeah. That. Wait, so we use a hit die to take a short rest? Yeah, I don't really now get you, this. I I think you I, you, you can know, recover you that can much. Recover you can. HP. Right. You can roll a hit die while you take a short rest to recover HP. It's your choice. Yeah. Okay. What, why, when else would we use a hit die? I think some characters have some other uses for it along the way, but the, for the most part, that's what it's there for. I it's recovering for recovering yeah. HP during rests. Okay. That makes sense. So. Wait, okay, so I so if I rolled a three, what does that mean? You're going to recover, you recover three, three HP. HP, and you spend one of your hit die. All righty then. Okay. Do we get? Right, um, do we recover? Uh, do we recover spell slots that way, or is that only long rest? Only long rest. You recover you your recover breath ability. Slots. Okay. Yeah, you only recover You only recover spell slots with a long rest. But uh, like Sugarcane, she just got back her ability to transform. A cup. She's got like two or three more transformations now before okay. she has to take another short rest. Uh, but, but yeah, and I can do that. 
Those spell slots just remain the same. So, like, she hasn't recovered any spell slots off the short rest. And neither should uh, you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my. I was just trying to... It, oh, no. Never mind. Okay. It, I thought it reset my lay on hands, but it didn't. Yeah, it resets my channel divinity. So I have a lot of healing ready to go. Okay. Okay. So, to the next door? so are we calling it for the night or are we going to go look out another door? I'm, it's up to y'all. I'm good to look. I was thinking let's, let's try to one more route. Generally go till about 10 and then when we get to a good stopping point after that, then stop. That was okay. kind of my idea. Fair enough. I'm gonna put one more room first. All right, I'm down. I'll be I'll be right back. Wait, no, come back. Hey, hey listen hello. to this door. I can listen to the door. Go ahead. Okay. Why do you like our new friend better than me? What, you what does she have that I don't? Place your ear upon my door. Listen. I place my sensitive bird ear up to the door. <laughs> Is it even an ear? Isn't it more like just a hole? Okay. Yeah, so um, that you, you do hole. not hear, you don't hear anything in this room. You you don't hear any noise on the other side of that particular door. Okay. This one, right I can actually like hear in three D because my ears are kind of offset from each other, and I can feel the vibrations directly in my ocular canal. Can hear? Yeah. Can't we Fun hear fact: in 3D since we live in the third dimension. Okay, let's go in the room then. <laughs> Be my guest. Let's okay. do it. So let's this see uh, this opens up into what looks like kind of another room with some bunks in it, and uh, you do notice um, uh, that the, all of the bunks in it are all made up pretty neatly. I think we should investigate. Okay. Somebody want to make a a uh, investigation check? I'm not good at investigating. Yeah, mine's not great either. Oh boy, mine's real bad. Sugarcane has ADHD. She can't focus on things for too long. Well, I'll try. Got big dragon eyes. <laughs> So okay. you, it's it's pretty obvious after you look for a minute, you can see underneath this one right here. Whoops. Underneath this one right here, um, there's some kind of an iron uh, coffer. Okay. Let's, let's get that. Let's grab that coffer. Okay. Take it out. And... Right. Somebody going to open it. I'll I open it. I like a religion check and see if I know what it is. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and make an insight check, or it doesn't have any religious significance that you know. But oh, okay. You can try an ins you can, you can try an insight. Just insight. regular insight. Yeah. All right, so. Whoa. Um, that would be better. <laughs> yeah, so this looks pretty. I mean, it's just a box that can, it's, you can't tell that it has any special purpose beyond a box that's supposed to contain important personal items. Can anyone do detect magic? I could. Um, where is that? It's going to be in spells. It'd be in their spells. Oh, okay. No. If you can, Sugarcane, I want to detect magic before we open it, because this feels like a trap. I can dispel magic. Actually, I can't. That's, that's not <laughs> activated. Um, I can turn... I can... I it's can okay. use the divine sense, but I think I don't know if that would tell me anything about an object. Mm. I think that only it won't actually let me just dis display it, but um, yes, it will. Can somebody oh. catch me up on what's going on while he looks so, at into a room? We found a box. We found a box. We're all, it track. seems pretty normal. So I say we open it. I'm going to hand it to Sugarcane and yeah. walk over here. Yeah. All right. I, I'll uh, just stay outside the room, I guess. 
I yeah. Open I, can, I can detect if it's evil, but I can't detect just if there's magic. I'm already opening it, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Well, we're about <laughs> to get it, it, Pandora. So it just, uh, it, it flips open, nothing happens. Oh. And uh, you see inside 120 gold pieces. Oh. And right. um, you've got some pretty nice looking, uh, they look like some kind of religious vestments. Nice. And, oh, and then there's a leather pouch that has two gold bracelets in it. And Ooh. then there are three scrolls that appear to be scrolls that uh, allow the person that holds it to cast a spell. Ooh. I'll do a... Magic scrolls. I want the religious robes. They are exactly my color. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm the one who opened the box, so I feel like I should get to keep everything. Everything. I put <laughs> Of course, that's, that's how parties work. <laughs> yeah. That's what not is... Sugar Cane, I don't first, think you're you that. Get first pick, how about that? You get first pick. Sugar Cane's a kind, sweet girl. That's true. But... You can keep you can keep the bling. I <laughs> keep the bling. I don't <laughs> But if those are jangling while we're walking around trying to be sneaky, <laughs> just saying. That's fair. No, um, yeah, everybody just kind of take what you want, I guess. I don't actually think there's anything okay. in here that I would really want. <laughs> I'm good. I don't need any. I take the robe. I don't care about anything else. I'll take some money. Yeah, take the money, baby. You need it. I don't really know how to indicate that I take the money. But... Just put it in your thing. I go ahead and put them on the priestly vestments. Uh, They're beautiful. Who, oh, and I'm more beautiful for having worn them. Uh, what do the three magic say? Do I need to, like, interpret or whatever? Do we, yeah, can we read these magic scrolls? So, yeah, um... Once. So, uh, you start looking looking over probably somebody needs to make an arcana check uh oh i have good arcana i'll do it yeah not not me hmm. oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. okay yeah so the first one appears to be uh some kind of a spell that's called earthbind uh yeah. you choose you choose a creature that uh is within about 300 feet and uh you, it, the target then has to succeed on a saving throw where it's going to have its uh, flying speed reduced to zero feet. It's going to fall to the ground. And okay, so it, it, it's cast on something that's flying in yeah, the air? Yeah, that's what you want to do is you want to use it on things that are flying because what it does is it affects flying speed. It basically reduces it to zero. Hmm. Um, then another one is called Earthen Grasp. And this one, you're gonna create. You're gonna select a space, an unoccupied space on the ground, and a hand is gonna reach up out of the soil Whoa. for uh, one creature, and that target has to make a saving throw, or it's gonna take bludgeoning damage. No, and it's also going to remain restrained until it can escape. And then the last one is called Transmute Rock. I tried to see if I had these spells in Roll20 and I couldn't find them, but looks like Maxwell found it. Did you find it on uh, on D&D uh, &D Beyond? Yeah, I just found it on D&D &D Spells. D&D &D Spells, okay. The last one is called uh, Transmute Rock. And this one, uh, you can fill a 40-foot cube uh, to transmute rock into mud or transmute mud into rock. Yeah, it, it, um, about a 40 foot cube. Are gargoyles made of rock? Yes, gargoyles are made of rock. Oh, snap. And can gargoyles fly? Yeah, they, they, I think they could, right? Uh, yes, gargoyles can fly. Oh. They're, they're winged. No. Well, does somebody think that would suit their particular set of skills 
Do they does read does using utilizing a scroll does that take a spell slot? How does that work? Nah. No, you just use it. Huh. Yeah. It like uses up the item. The scroll is only good for one use. Gotcha. It just disintegrates. As like, if it was held together by the magic inlaid inside of it. Mm. Oh, yeah. like in Once Upon a Time. So I'm t I can't I can't share, but if you look in the, the, the compendium, you'll see a description of what the spell scroll does. The, the, the compendium on roll twenty. You can search okay. spell scroll and it'll tell you what it does. Okay. Uh, it's, the, the spell does have to be on your class's spell list to read it and cast it. Um, otherwise, it's unintelligible. So it, you so actually only spellcasters can use these. Uh, to what? What's a spellcaster? Um, Sugarcane is a druid. Is a spellcaster. Ekron has a little bit of spellcasting ability, as does um, Kark. Okay, so I think I certainly don't. Yeah, I don't either. Hmm. All right, boys, the battle to the death. Who gets the spells? I think, I don't think Sugarcane should have them because Sugarcane's like normal transformations are like probably more useful than those. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I definitely I agree. Friend should take all of them. Okay. I'm in favor. Yep. Because okay. I remember that that carks are more like ranged. I don't know. Yeah, I honestly don't want anything to do with disgusting earth magic anyway, so... That's fair. Sounds good. Well, and Ekron's wearing cargoes anyway, so he's got pockets to <laughs> store those in, so... <laughs> We're good. Are they, the, are they the kind of cargo pants that, like, they are pants, and then you can unzip them to be, like... To be, like, uh, capris? Short. Yeah. Because the, the zipper's a little too close to the ground, so they're really not shorts, you know. Unless, yeah. you're, a, unless you're a 90s kid, then they are, then they could be shorts. But yes. right. Jean Co. shorts, yeah. 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 All right. So we're giving the scrolls to good old yeah. Ekron then. That's right. All right, good old. Going in my rightmost pocket. All right. I probably uh, need to keep track of that somewhere. How about that? It's 10 o'clock. Y'all want to play a little longer or you want to call it a night? Hmm. I think we should probably call it here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll I can't tell room. Like, stop in the middle of a, a combat situation. Clear the room. You haven't picked any more fights. Maybe it's a good place to call it. Okay, I will uh, stop the stream. We will be back next Wednesday night, hopefully at the same time. Thanks, guys.